buckle up. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 badass drivers in movies. I've never seen driving like that. Annie. What? It's my name, Annie. For this list, we're focusing on feature films only, and excluding people who pay their bills with daytime driving jobs. Well, at least ordinary, everyday kind of driving jobs. Shake it back, buddy! Shake it! Before you bake it! Number 10. Fox. Wanted. You're wasting my f***ing time. Why are you here? I don't know, so hit me! It takes a hefty set of balls to deliberately rear-end a police vehicle. And Angelina Jolie sported just such a pair in Timur Bekmambetov's movie adaptation of the comic book Wanted. When a nervous office dweeb becomes the focus of a determined assassin, Fox shows up in a busy parking lot and literally pegs Wesley Gibson in a brilliant grace under pressure maneuver. As the would-be assassin panicked in the passenger seat, Fox maintained a watchful gaze while evading the resourceful assassin known as Cross. <sighs> it's no easy task to own the streets with a loudmouth in tow, but Fox straight up handled her business. Of course, Angelina Jolie went without cruise control in the 2005 film Mr. and Mrs. Smith as well. <laughs> Number 9. Sam. Ronin. Whenever there is any doubt, there is no doubt. That's the first thing they teach you. Driving a Peugeot 406, Robert De Niro's character took an unintentional tour of Paris in John Frankenheimer's acclaimed spy thriller. <laughs> After a deal with a beautiful IRA operative turns deadly, Sam and his partner in crime pursue their enemies and a mysterious briefcase while thoroughly burning rubber across numerous arrondissements. <laughs> Nobody said you had to be cool and collected to be a badass driver. And Sam certainly conveyed a look of oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. But guess what? Sam buckled up, took control of the wheel, and let everybody know that age ain't nothing but a number. Number 8. Frankenstein. Death Race 2000. Would you care to comment on that? No. Some people drive normal cars, and some people drive an alligator-style Shayla Vette. When everything seems perfect to me. Okay, one person drives that kind of car, and his name was Frankenstein. In a rather disturbing dystopian society, the annual transcontinental road race was established in which drivers were rewarded for taking out unsuspecting pedestrians. Frankenstein scores! Frankenstein scores at last! The star driver of this frightening ordeal was none other than a mean, green killing machine in his reptilian ride. With no regard for human life, Frankenstein ripped up the roads of America and left everyone befuddled by his brilliant driving tactics. God only knows what he looks like under that mask, but he is back! Number 7. The Blues Brothers. The Blues Brothers. No f***ing way. What do you get when you put together the blues, a mission from God, and a total disregard for the popos? This musical comedy, which features one of the most badass drivers you'll ever see on the big screen, thanks to this Blues Brothers skill behind the wheel. 106 miles to Chicago, we got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. While Elwood is also a talented member of the titular band, the way in which he and his co-pilot Jake evade the cops on their trail by ripping through the Dixie Square Mall with a nonchalant attitude and casual detachment is what really makes the driving stand out. But that's not all. The Blues Brothers also drive through a rally of Nazis, and they are back at it again during the climax, using the Bluesmobile to create chaos and destruction as they're pursued by the authorities. Number 6. Max Rokitansky, Mad Max. Much like our number 8 entry, this film was centered on a dystopian society that allowed madmen and a traumatized man known as Mad Max to partake in extremely violent car chases. The madness begins when Max Rokitansky's wife and daughter were killed. 
which led the greeting widower to push the pedal to the metal in a crazy cool customized police special V8 supercharger. When a man loses everything and pimps out his ride, well, that's when you know you better be on his good side. Hi. Number five, Jason Bourne, Bourne franchise. Speaking of traumatized characters, here's a fellow that may not necessarily know his real name, but he can describe the street layout of most European cities. What's your name? What's your name? I don't know. After all, a trained assassin must think quick, and Jason Bourne has been known to escape from the stickiest of situations. Uh, sir, he drove off the roof. What? He drove off the roof. He once drove down a case of steps in Paris, most likely to impress his lady, and even drove a taxi in Moscow while evading a Russian agent. Truly an international road warrior, Bourne accomplishes one of his greatest feats domestically in the Big Apple. Now how do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? Number four, Frank Bullet. Bullet. Based on the real life inspector who would later become famous by working the Zodiac Killer case, this Bay Area driver took part in one of cinema's most beloved chase scenes. Driving his badass 68 Ford Mustang GT, Frank Bullet hunted down a group of hitmen up and down the streets of sunny San Francisco. Yeah, he caused a tiny bit of damage, but his sick command of the vehicle has long caused moviegoers to watch in complete silence from the proverbial passenger seat. Steve McQueen portrayed the determined driver and once worked as James Dean's New York City mechanic. Almost 15 years later, his skills came in rather handy. Do your thing, Bullet. We're just here for the ride. Number three, Frank Martin, the transporter. Just drive the car, man, or you're gonna catch a bullet to the brains. And who's going to drive? Shotsy Sasso! This guy will outrace you, beat you up, and then verbally shame you with his extraordinary accent. They're now driving. That's what they pass a law says I can't. Yeah, his name is rather simple, but hey, he's a simple guy. All you need to do is give Frank Martin an address, and he'll deliver your goods like the pro that he is. So, where's the rest of the car? I was hoping you could tell me. However, when gangsters are involved, sometimes the package turns out to be gagged human beings. Rule three, never look in the package. Even so, Martin gets down in the streets like no other. And he's certainly not afraid to, um, fly. You might want to think twice before you travel with this guy, because you just may need a fresh pair of trousers when you reach the final destination. <laughs> Number two, Dominic Toretto, the Fast and the Furious franchise. Let's go for a little ride. You might recognize this beefed up and bald headed drag racer from, oh, I don't know, almost every Fast and the Furious movie. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. In fact, Dominic Toretto and his pal Brian O'Connor set the standard for cinematic car chases, as they've managed to find themselves in just about every possible scenario. Dom likes to boogie in his pop's 1970 Dodge Charger even if the ride frightens him more than his insane road antics. We're gonna need a faster car. At the end of the day, Dominic Toretto is fiercely loyal to his fam, including Letty, the main lady in his life. You got some serious balls, man. I've been told. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The driver, Drive. He's a Los Angeles mechanic by trade and an occasional movie stuntman. Oh, and he's also one of the best getaway drivers in the history of cinema. What do you do? I drive. 
With only a few simple rules for prospective clients, the driver decks himself in a shiny scorpion jacket and oozes intensity with a focused yet slightly psychotic gaze. <laughs> Good driving out there. Thanks. Okay, it's definitely a psycho stare, but when you're ripping up the LA streets alongside loony mobsters, you need to have a few screws loose just to adapt. I don't sit in while you're running it down. I don't carry a gun. I drive. This guy may not offer up life advice to his passengers or even realize that he's crazy, but he's not Dr. Phil for crying out loud. He's the driver. with our list? I can't let anything stop me now. Who's your favorite badass drivers in the movies? <laughs> For more mind-blowing top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It's the first on my list of things to do today.